Hello and welcome to the Counselor NOAA Cloud setup and troubleshooting tutorial. We'll begin by installing NOAA Cloud. Uh, in the email that's provided to you, you'll see a link where you can start the download process. And just so you can see that link again, there are the details, but ultimately, like I said, you can go right from the email itself. Now, this will take a little bit of time to download depending on, of course, your download speed. It's important to note that uh, before we do anything you know, uh, beyond this to launch this file, we want to make sure of a couple quick things. First off, make sure that NOAA is closed. Whatever, I'm sorry, NOAA is closed. Whatever method you use for NOAA, make sure that you go ahead and close it. Uh, the second thing is you want to make sure you dis disable any antivirus systems or um, uh, pop-up blockers. You know, some common ones would be Trend Micro, uh, Norton, McAfee, Kapersky. Any of those, you can just put them in a temporary hold. Usually, they let to do it for they let you do it for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, um, and that way it assists in making sure that this download doesn't get interfered with, as well as the launch of the file itself. Um, once this uh, file is finished uh, downloading, of course, we're going to launch it. And then we're going to follow the on-screen prompts. It's really a pretty straightforward process. Now, there are a few steps in there that um, uh, do take a little bit of time. So we do recommend for this overall process, you allow at least five minutes, uh, likely up to 10 minutes. If you do have questions along the way, of course, please let us know. We're happy to assist. But the goal with this is that it's going to be fairly straightforward. You launch the link. The download begins. Go ahead and monitor that. So right now I'm, I'm in Chrome. Um, in Firefox, I believe it also it will show up in the top right-hand corner. Um, Edge Internet Explorer, I think I believe it does show up in the bottom left-hand corner as well. So basically the point is, depending on the browser you're using, this download file may show up in a different place. Now, Counselor won't automatically launch this, so you, or your browser, I'm sorry, won't automatically launch this. You would want to go ahead and click on the file. Okay, that will start the process and go ahead and click Run. Um, depending on your browser, those directions may be slightly different. Now, you also may get a pop-up message asking you to make sure that that's okay for you to do this. Go ahead and say yes. That's just fine. And then the download process will start. Um, as I mentioned, you just follow the on-screen prompts. That will take you through the next steps. Um, while we're waiting for that to launch, uh, we're going to be showing uh, some scenarios in just a little bit here in Counselor about how to actually launch NOAA Cloud um, and also troubleshooting regarding if, uh, if there's instances, for, say, for example, where you don't, um, you don't see uh, the patient's NOAA data that you expect to see. Uh, there are some common scenarios why that occurs, and we'll be looking at that. So you may see some pop-up uh, messages come up here. Just ignore these. That's just the behind the scenes working. Uh, it'll take a little bit for that to, uh, to kind of work its way through. In fact, let's bring back open uh, that process here. There we go. Um, and as you can see, we're just about ready to finish here. So it's a pretty quick process overall. Some of this, of course, once again, does depend the download speed of your computer and, of course, your process, processing speed of your computer. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, just a quick note on this is, of course, this would need to be done on every computer where you intend to use NOAA. Uh, so very commonly, we're going to talk about, you know, obviously your testing computers, your fist fitting computers, um, likely wherever you currently have um, NOAA, but then in addition, you may put it on, on other laptops as well, uh, because with NOAA Cloud, you can take that laptop with you anywhere, and as long as you have an internet connection, you can then have access to your full NOAA database. Um, but typically, you want to start with um, your fitting computers and your testing computers, um, testing computers specifically if, if you have NOAA compatible um, audiometers. All right, so we'll go ahead and click Finish. That finished the installation, so now NOAA Cloud is enabled for um, um, for uh, this computer. There was a little bit of setup really quickly too, just to be sure that, um, and this is more of an administrative level, uh, to make sure that each person on staff is enabled for NOAA Cloud. Uh, you would go ahead and look in their profile. I'll go ahead and use our list, then profile. And then under the security area, there is an area specifically stating whether or not they're allowed to launch NOAA and perform activities. Okay, um, so if for some reason someone's having difficulty launching, that's a quick thing to check. Um, you might want to just go through and look through the different people's profiles and make sure, in fact, that that is ready to go. Okay, all right, so now we have uh, known cloud installed. We've checked some user profiles. We make sure that everything's up to speed. Um, now let's go ahead and let's look at, and by the way, at this point, you, of course, could turn back on your pop-up blockers and your antivirus system. If they were set to have like a 10-minute timer, 
you probably don't have to worry about it. They'll turn on back on by themselves, uh, but you certainly could go ahead and turn them on at this point. Um, all right, so let's see here. Let's look up that scenario where we're talking about um, – well, actually, I'm sorry. Before I talk about a, a troubleshooting scenario, let's show you how I actually had to launch NOAA Cloud first, uh, first and foremost. So let's go ahead and let's just look up a sample patient here. Okay, we'll just take Jim Calhoun here. Um, there are two ways that you can launch NOAA Cloud. One is right within the patient's profile, so the patient administration screen. At any time, you can click on Actions. At the very bottom of the list, you will see Launch NOAA. Once you click there, it's going to launch the NOAA window. This can take a few moments as well, and you may get a pop-up message asking if it's okay to launch it. Um, then you'll see the no cloud window pop up, of course, with the counselor logo. Um, once again, this does take a few moments. If a patient has a very large NOAA file, meaning you know they've been a patient here for a long time and they've got loads and loads of sessions, it may take a little bit longer to load. Uh, so just be aware of that, that it is still loading. It sometimes just takes a bit longer. Now, this patient, not the best example, doesn't have any NOAA sessions available. But what you can see here is that it has um, uh, NOAA is right here, right? Um, and one thing to mention, one thing I should have noted earlier is that all all the modules that you uh, have on the computer that you intend to stall, install uh, Counselor Node Cloud on will stay, right? So this is not something where afterwards you have to go back and reinstall your modules. Those will stay exactly the same. So on this computer, we had Phonak and Widex and a bunch of other modules. Um, those all installed, okay? All right, so I'll go ahead and um, close this, and let's show you the other place where you can uh, launch NOAA Cloud. So if I go into a patient visit, let's take this patient visit here from May 10th, and now I'm in the section, of course, where I would take my case history, put all my documentation, create my professional report, etc. You also can launch NOAA from here. Okay, once again from the Actions menu, you click Launch NOAA. So the example here would be, of course, you finish testing and you want to um, uh, program some demos, for example, right? So right from that visit screen, you could then once again launch NOAA. Now for this patient, once again, there's not any audiometric uh, or any audiometric data or sessions available. Just to add some here, let's go ahead and click on this, the Counselor Synergy uh, module. Um, and I do want to highlight this for a moment because the Counselor Synergy module is used to move data between NOAA and Counselor. I know what you're probably thinking, like, well, well Counselor's already hosting uh, NOAA within its system. Shouldn't that all just flow back and forth? Well, with this system, you can be very, be very precise on where you want the data to go. And also, it give, lets you be um, uh, have any equipment that you want. So whether you have a standalone audiometer or you have a NOAA-compatible system, Counselor Synergy is designed to let you either pull the data from the visit and save it in NOAA, or take the, the visit data that's in NOAA and then save it um, within a visit in Counselor. So go back and forth, meaning that if I had already created a visit for this patient and I had data in NOAA, I could say, all right, I want this audiometric data and this admittance data to go into this visit, right? And it would take that information and put it right where you want it to go. Okay, um, so there's a level of precision there. In, th in this example, we're going to go ahead and we're actually going to uh, import the data from Counselor into NOAA. Uh, once again, this just takes a few moments to load. Now we can see that it's brought over um, audiogram data and also, also some impedance data. Okay, um, so now we can see that session in place. So those are the two places where you can activate Counselor NOAA Cloud, one from the patient administration screen and two right from the patient visit screen. Now, let's take a really common troubleshooting um, uh, scenario, right? And by the way, this tends to be much more common if you're, if you're bringing your data, database um, from a standalone version of NOAA to Counselor NOAA Cloud. If you currently use a system that has NOAA embedded within it, this tends to be more likely, but still very, very important to watch out for. And basically what it is, is let's say we have um, a patient that we're going to see. Okay, so let's say it's gonna be Jim Smith that we wanna see. So we'll, we'll look up his profile real quick. There he is. And everything's going swimmingly. We're ready to go take him back. Or maybe I'm checking in some devices for him. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and launch NOAA. And when you launch the NOAA Cloud system, um, what we're going to see here, let's just let this load here, is that there's no data. Ah, but that doesn't make any sense because you've seen Jim, you know, 20 times over the last five years, and you know there should be data here. 
Okay, uh, what happens, what likely has happened, is that there's been um, the, the way the NOAA file was named was different than in Counselor. So to kind of think how that could have happened, let's let's you know think about different naming issues. Maybe we misspelled something. Maybe Jim, maybe in the profile that was in NOAA or in the previous system was James. Right, and, and you can imagine if you have standalone NOAA how that can happen because with standalone NOAA you're entering the data every single time, and sometimes people, you know, you may say Jim Dash Phonak Smith, right, to kind of designate something in, in NOAA. If you're using Tim's or Cycle, um, like I said, that tends to be much more consistent because you have NOAA and uh, your OMS combined already. But like I said, it still could happen. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to find. Uh, the other profile here. So let's do this. Let's say uh, we want to open up our search a little bit. So we're going to say, I'm just going to say Jim Space Smith, right? So any patient with J in the first name and Smith in the last name. Okay. Um, and I'm still just seeing the one patient there. Okay. Um, in fact, actually, if I wanted to widen the patient search first, I could just do Jim Smith, right? And then I would look for any inactive patients. So really, I probably the first thing to do is really just search for the patient again, and then include inactive and deceased patients. It's still just the one though. Okay. Now we've determined okay, there's not any inactive patients that have the same name. Now let's expand our search a little bit. Let's go with the J. Smith, and we're going to see here is you know what? There's still just one J. Smith. Okay, and looking through this list, I don't see any others that really, you know, potentially misspellings or anything like that. Or here, for example, Joe has a two after his name. That could be a case where, if the, you know, um, but, but we're saying that yeah, those don't really, those patients aren't the right ones. Uh, let's go ahead and look span the search to include inactive and deceased. And let's see what happened here. So now we have Jim Smith. We also have James Smith. In fact, we have two James Smiths. But the one that we really want to pay attention to is the one with the same date of birth. Okay, they do have different phone numbers, but that's fine. And what you'll notice, though, is that this one is inactive. So the, the behind the scenes of what happens here is when counselor is importing those NOAA files, it looks to see a match, right? So it's looking, um, so for this NOAA file attached to James Smith, it's saying, hey, are there any James Smiths with this date of birth? Right? And if it doesn't find it, it's going to go ahead and create a new profile and automatically send it as inactive. So that way all the data is coming over and then um, the information can then be combined. So the way we would do this, we'd say, all right, you know what? I bet this is it. I bet this is James' profile here, the, the, the one we're looking for. So I would then, just to be sure, I would look at his profile and I would go ahead and launch NOAA. So this will give us an opportunity to then bring open NOAA and, and determine, you know, if this is the right information. Because pretty quickly you're going to be able to figure it out, right? If this patient wears, say, phone act devices, you're going to say, oh, yeah, absolutely. We did an audio back in, uh, you know, 2016. And, yep, absolutely, there's some, some programming data uh, from phone act. So this is the guy. This is the profile I want. Now, let's get this all in one place, okay? So we're going to say, all right, let's now go to the profile that we want to keep. Right, so this James profile, this is one that was created on the fly when counselor imported um, when counselor imported the NOAA data. So there's likely not going to be much else in that profile, right? Really, just the NOAA data. So I want to go to the, the the patient's profile where uh, I have all the information I need, right? Or, or I want. I have his demographic information. We have that in place, but no NOAA data. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Actions and then Merge Patient. That will allow me to then look, and now it's saying, hey, there are no other Jim Smiths, but that's fine because we're not actually looking for Jim Smith, right? We're looking for James, so I'm going to just remove that, go back down to just the J, and now I can see that there are two James Smiths, some Janes, some Jessicas, some Jills, but you know what? There's my guy right there. That's who I know. Same date of birth. That's the profile. Now I'll click Merge. So that's going to take this really NOAA-only profile, right, and it's going to pull in the information. It makes a note at the bottom of the, the screen here that we've merged this patient file, okay? And then now in this, in Jim's file, the, the, the um, profile that we prefer, we can go ahead then and launch NOAA again. And what that's going to do, of course, is show us that it's combined the data, right? And this can even happen if you have, you know, let's say the Jim Smith profile working originally had five visits and the James, you know, had had five sessions as well. Well, it'll take all five, uh, from, uh, you know, five from the, the, the secondary one, uh, the inactive one, and pull it into the primary. And so then you have 10 sessions here. 
Okay, so the whole point of this is that you're never going to lose any NOAA data. You just need to put it all in one place, and Encounter manages that. Um, on a related note, if you ever have duplicate patient profiles, when you do merge them, um, if you have other information for these patients in place, it will combine their insurance, their uh, visits and uh, appointments, their questionnaires, their invoices, and then everything and devices and everything will be listed out. Right, so this whole thing, the documents as well, will all be pulled together. Their tasks, everything comes in together, including the NOAA data. So that's a little further than probably needed to go on merging patients. But the point is, is that if you know, if you're in that situation where you've got a patient there, and gosh, I can't find their NOAA data, virtually always it's related to a um, uh, nickname or possibly a misspelled name and you can find them in counselor you want to make sure you do the secondary search where you're looking for inactive deceased patients you'll see them and then you can merge those profiles uh, together okay uh, these are steps that we're always happy to help with so you always can reach out to us um, and let us know okay if you if you want us to walk you through this um, because uh, Noah's in the cloud if you need assistance with this we can actually you know go right into your account and see what you're seeing as well so we can help you really work through any of these issues um, a quick thing I want to cover as well before we go here is that within Counselor Noah Cloud, as I showed you, the Synergy module is already in place. If you ever, if for some reason that didn't install or for some reason you need to update it, you can always access the Synergy uh, module directly under the Help menu. This is a very quick process. It takes about one to two minutes start to finish. You click there. It downloads. Uh, once again, you launch the file. file you follow the on-screen prompts, and then it will update uh, your version of Synergy straight away. Okay, but once again, that's like any module, Oticon, Starkey, uh, Signia, you know, Otometrics, etc. Um, you do need to do that on each computer that uses NOAA. So, um, as I mentioned, we're always happy to help um, with any of this part of the process, with the installation, with the follow-up, kind of, you know, learning to use it. Um, we hope it's intuitive, but like I said, we're always happy to help. Uh, so thank you very much for joining us for the Counselor NOAA Cloud Setup and Troubleshooting Tutorial.